Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, I stopped working on the chassis that was going to be doing the engine swap because I could not find the uh, motor mounts. The company that supposedly does the swaps for, this, for the Cummings and the uh, Duramax, they went out of business. So here it is. I already sprayed it. And I'm just waiting for the motor mounts to see if I can find them somewhere. Anyway, that's not the reason I'm doing this video. The reason I'm doing this is because I got this thing running now. This thing was missing a oil pan and a there was a hole on the transmission pan also, so I replaced both of them with some other parts I had. I got it running. It runs pretty good, but it's not getting enough air into the intake. The snorkel is just in this thing. The housing for the air cleaner is, is just so much restriction of air that it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't let the engine suck it. So let me show you on this thing. I pulled out another one I had. This thing's have this draining part of it. In case you get any water or anything in it, you just, you just unplug this thing from here and you drain it or clean the inside of it with a hose or something. If you can clean, clean. that's what I did with this one. I cleaned real good. So what I was thinking is maybe getting rid of this, this part, and open it up even bigger. Because when I had it on and I unplugged it, I plugged it, it didn't it ran real shitty. So when I unplugged it, it sucked even more air and I could hear the engine running even better. So and when you step on the gas, it it you can you can see it in and hear it even react even more better. So I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna open that up. So that's what I did to this one. I already done. I just want to show you what I, what I did. I used this three inch hole socket. I made a hole of it, but I I end up I end up getting rid of everything, a whole thing here, and just make the hole wide because I'm gonna be using a three inch. Uh, PVC um, pipe, the black one. Let me show you. This one here. This is what I'm going to be using. It even has a plug on it in case, you know, I do want to run into some water or something. So I won't suck some water into the, into the air cleaner. Let me show you. It's got threads on it. And I just, you know, if I don't want it to get suck some water, if I'm going to go underneath some water, so. I plug it, and if I don't, I unplug it and run it on the street. It'll probably give me better mileage and the engine will run even better. So let me show you what I did to the uh, to this one, okay? Let me put this over here. Let me get rid of this. Let me pull this out. Let me see. There it is. See, I cleaned it up already. I'm gonna be using some uh, JB Weld so I can put this cap on. See, it's gonna go like so. There, see, just like that. You can see the air cleaner. But I'm gonna pull it up just a bit away from it. So, be nice and straight. See, now it's got two ways to suck air. And trust me, when I run this thing and I made that hole, I started the engine, you can hear this, the way it just changed the way the engine run. And I was putting my hand right here and you can feel my hand being sucked in. And this engine is it's not the strongest one, but it requires a lot of air for it to run good. I mean, it's a 6.5, 6.2s, I don't really like 6.2s. So this will fix up your problem with starving the engine of oxygen. And you know, like, like I said, and if you're not gonna run it on some water, so it won't suck it in and sweat all your filter, all you do is get your plug. If you're gonna run it on, under water and plug it. 
and go at it. You still got the snorkel sucking air anyway, just for whatever time you run around the water. And then when you run the streets, you unplug it. You've been getting better mileage and the engine performance even better. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do JB Well on it. I got some, let's see, where is it? No, I don't have it in here. I got some JB Well for it. I'm gonna weld it around it. And it should dry in about an hour or so. That's what it says on the package. And it's done, man. Put it back on, and that's it. You can even go even go further on it. You can even put a bigger, longer pipe and extend it, go up. You know what I mean? And run it like that too. You can you can go even bigger on it. This is just something for me to sell the vehicle running fine and and performance fine. Which you know when you want to get everything out of it, this this engine because they're six point fives. The six point fives are strong engines from torque, but they don't, they just need a lot of oxygen. They need to, need to suck a lot of air to perform better. And uh, the design of these things were made to choke the heck out of these things. So anyway, that's what I'm doing to this one. Maybe I'll do it to all these suckers that I got because I don't want to replace the original air cleaner uh, housing with the out of you know, something that they sell out there. So, that's what I'm doing. Let me know what you think of it. I mean, I got plenty of these things, so, and I can always replace it if I screw this one up. <laughs> but I don't think so, because I, I like the way the engine run when I, after I did this hole on it, it just sounded even better. It sounded a lot better. Anyway, I'll post a video on it when I get it all together. And um, that's it. Let me, know what you, let me know what you think in uh, comments, opinions. They're all welcome. And I'll uh, see when I can get that sucker done. I got to get the uh, motormans for that one and do the transplant of the engine into that chassis and I'm waiting for that so I can post more videos of that but those things are so hard to get they're not not everybody you know they're real hard to find those motor mounts uh, to apply that engine into that chassis anyway let me know what you think of this and thumbs up thumbs down whatever but this is what I'm doing let me know thanks